Awesome. Yeah, um, thank you for inviting us to talk about this book that we uh, sprinted in 10 days. Um, I'm a book sprint facilitator and also the CEO of our little uh, company, Book Sprints. Um, book Sprints started uh, in uh, open source software when our founder, Adam Hyde, uh, experimented with uh, floss manuals and tried to make writing documentation uh, collaborative and fun and fast and came up with this five day process. Um, then it moved to uh, big tech, uh, but also academia, open educational resources, government reports. Uh, we've sprinted books on basically anything, but we are still really happy to make books on open source projects. Um, so, yeah, I was really happy when um, HPE invited us to uh, to do a book sprint on, on Spiffy Inspire. Um, this year we couldn't meet in person anymore. So our five day process is now a 10 day virtual sprint process, um, but it still works uh, really phenomenally um, because the, the writers, in this case, we had 12 writers, they really put in long hours and uh, across different time zones and, and a lot of hard work to still make a book in, in this time frame. Um, if you wanna move to the next slide, I can give you just a very quick impression of what that may look like. In the background, we see our uh, brainstorming board. So what we would usually do in a room full of uh, whiteboards, we now do um, online. Um, and yeah, so we brought together 12 writers for 10 days to first brainstorm and come up with a concept for the book, um, uh, structure that and start uh, writing and revising the content. So everything has been going through, yeah, 12, uh, pairs of hands and eyes uh, and fact-checked and, and rewritten and um, restructured over and over again until we come up with a book that you see on the right, right side. It's just two example pages. Um, the book has 200 pages and 80 diagrams, all of that done uh, within those same 10 days. Um, so I was the facilitator. I have absolutely no content uh, knowledge uh, but I, I guided the group of writers through this entire process, helped them to stay on track and, uh, and stay productive. And in the background, I have a team um, of copy editors and uh, book production experts who make all those diagrams, uh, copy edit the content, the layout of the book um, in real time during those same 10 days. So everything is ready to be published immediately. So um, yeah, the book was launched uh, about a week ago and today's our first little presentation, which is really exciting. Um, some of the authors I see here, which is uh, amazing. Maybe Omer, you can uh, introduce them quickly. Yeah, absolutely. I think this was my first bo book sprint, but I think Andres is a master of book sprints now. He has done multiple of these. So uh, he was the first person to bring this idea up as well. Um, eventually we went with it. Um, he convinced us. Um, I, I think it was a like from a person who did the book sprint uh, for the first time. It was it was a great experience. Initially, I could not believe that you could create a book in ten days, right? But you could. Um, you you talk about these sprints within code and development, but you know having a uh, having a sprint around a book was was something that's really useful. And we believe uh, we had a diverse set of uh, writers from different companies from different fields. Um, here's a list of, you know, all these people from different companies. Um, many of them are renowned in the Spiffy community, in the security circle, like Emily Fox and a bunch of others. Um, all of them had some sort of experience um, within the domain, right? Either they were, like I said, security experts, uh, or they had run similar things like Ian and Michael and Netflix in the past, uh, or they had some operational experience with Spiffy Inspire as well, when their organizations with Frederick and Eli, uh, to name a bunch. Um, so again, it was a great experience. Um, it was, and it, uh, we feel like it solves a real problem for someone who is looking to learn about Spiffy. Um, again, we wrote the book with the perspective of, uh, hey, this is how, if you wanted to get started on Spiffy, uh, these are the key concepts you need to learn. What was the rationale behind starting Spiffy in the first place? Um, uh, key concepts, like Barbara mentioned, what was amazing was we were able to generate, I think, 50 plus, I don't know the exact number. I know you had it on the last slide. Um, tons 80. of illustrations, 80 illustrations uh, done. And a lot of them are open source, are available to the community as well. We make it available if anyone wants to use those illustrations to convince their bosses or, um, you know, preach spiffy within their organization, they are feel free to do so. Um, so we also covered some things like benefits uh, for if an engineer likes the concept and they want to, you know, 
uh, build a case for it for their you know boss or on the business side there's some content around that too and it also covers slightly advanced topics like you know deployment strategies and um, integrating spiffy with other tools and how does it compares with other tools as well uh, also a big thank you to um, to some of the practitioner stories that were submitted uh, Bobby from anthem Ryan from Uber, Germany from Pinterest, Michael and Matt from Square um, were amongst a few that submitted, you know, um, some real practitioner stories as well that, you know, people can get some deeper insights um, around that. Um, again, we are excited about this book. Uh, hope you find it useful. I think we already have over a thousand downloads in the last week and we haven't even promoted it that much. Uh, the link is available. Uh, we'll have different versions of this book uh, available soon as well, both a hard copy and we're trying to get a, a Kindle version of it as well. Um, but, you know, uh, they, like I just mentioned, you know, think of it as a book of, you know, people who are trying to, you know, adopt the journey going from zero to production with Spiffy, right? And you'll hear a lot about this turtle. You probably saw the turtle in all the slide decks too. Uh, mm -hmm. So we na so the name of the turtle is Zero the Turtle, uh, naturally. Uh, builds on a concept around, you know, how Spiffy solved for the, you know, secret zero problem or the bottom turtle problem um, as well. So you'll see that a lot in presentations that I think Andreas recently did at a couple of um, shows as well. So we're super excited. If you have feedback in the uh, in the book, let us know. We'll be uh, in a few, every few months, we are looking to revise that. Of course, the project is changing um, and it will be available. Um, yes, we can definitely add to this book and we'll have, like I said, a second edition and will add you know, a lot more stuff to it as well. And contributions are welcome. I know we are at break time now, right, Andres? Let me just check. That is correct. So perfect. We, we are, we've resynchronized and, and I think we're on schedule. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for sharing this, uh, Umer and Barbara. It was quite a journey to write this. It was a very interesting process, just eliciting the knowledge from everyone's head capturing it. I left in chat, uh, some of the framing folks who've started reading it, see it as is it's a companion guide and the journey from zero to production. So if you're not clear where to get started, you're still wrapping your head around the concepts, it can help you with that. If you are further along and understand Spiffy, but are having a hard problem convincing your peers or convincing your team or finding that business justification, you can find some tools there. And if you're past that stage and you're just ready to deploy and need to like reason around deployment strategies, uh, how to tackle different applications, different systems, how to reason about it holistically, there's, there's quite a bit there as well as how does it fit into the rest of the ecosystem and integrating with, with other systems?